spirits have come for pig. I just got a message. It's like, Spellsy confirmed he can't move, but now I don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> dumb. The ganker becomes dumb, a dumb, ganky. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Cabo's trying to get away. He flashes over. Gamsu's in trouble. Overheating means there's no equalizer. First blood to Cabo shot. Spirit's running for his life. Flash for flash. Shooks goes out. Spirit tries to get one no. to fly. No. Minion autos. Not going to work out. Two kills to Vitality. looking to help out Febavin. Hemo Plague, as well as a very good stun, Petrifying Gaze. Nuke Duck is trying to put the damage down, running out of mana. Twin Fang for days. Fire Spirit oh, go Nuka. low, but he's not dead yet. Spirit's able to escape. Febby continues to chase. Tides of Blood charging up. Febbivit tries to run away, but the kill's picked up by Nuke Duck. Before we question it, flash forward from Gamsu. He eats a cocoon. Flame Spit is trying to roast Shook, but it won't work out. Cabo gets kicked across the wall. They've traded one for one, and Shook flashes away. To I, I don't know. Reckless Ooh, though, he's in trouble. That's a great cocoon, he's down. So easy, Reckless. Oh, it's kind of fanatic. They're looking for a counterplay here. Equalizer comes out. Police is getting chunked. Great cocoon from Shook. That slows Febbivin's engage. Police may go down. Gets the movement speed increase from Kasing and burn 2,500 HP. The Baron's going low. Kasing, Kasing's trying to interfere, but it's secured. Fnatic take Baron, and they may kill Shook. Hemo Blake takes him down. Vitality, there we go. Right. You weren't crazy, you'd be insane. Gamsu gets jumped on by four. Vitality throw everything to pick up the kill. The rest of Fnatic, though, they're in the mid lane. That's uh, a bit of a base race here, but that's what I like about the new Cassiopeia. You can R flash aggressively and then throw down the Miasma to prevent a counter flash. Gamsu's flash was down, so it wasn't relevant here, but it's a really cool integrity mechanic. And Vitalia forced Fnatic to back off despite having Baron. They have, they don't get the tower though, but four man stack of Fnatic teleports available for Gamsu if this fight carries on. The Culling and Hemo play pick up two kills, and look at the slow from the Crystal Scepter. Double kill for Reckless. Everyone's flashing forward from Fnatic. Nuke Duck gets nuked, and Cabo's being run down. Counter Strike will buy some time. Spirit's gonna look for the Sonic Wave. If he connects, he can find another kill. Ward leaps forward, running low on energy though, and Spirit's accuracy this game's not been great. Flash away from Cabo. In, and Baron's still alive. Equalizer's trying to hold Vitality out the pit. Baron Shukai! picked up by Vitality, but Shook loses his life in the process. Who else gets taken down? Police is cold where he stands. Tries to flash away. A great pinball shot from Spirit, and Feverman's running down the rest of Vitality. Nuketech's petrifying gaze buys time, but as a golden Feverman laughs in his face, manages to take him down. Vitality have lost four. Kasing wants to run away, but this could Mind? be... Uh... I mean, they, they, they have slow... They... Look at these fights here. If Reckless positions well, but you can also just go aggressive here on Police in the bot lane. Very good flash from Spur. Police goes down. First blood to finish. Choreograph team composition. There's a challenge in the jungle. I mean, Repel up, moves forward, bubble lands, and Shook's in trouble. Kill number two to Fnatic. And because Kasing and Shook, they've been found out. Two man knock up, stand united. The ninja's gonna be delivered. And it won't even be needed. Gamsu picks up a kill. Febby's te teleported in from behind uh -huh. for his life. Glacial Fish has already been used by Kasing. Now good Spirit fight. has flashed forward. This could end badly. Nuketech's still alive. Petrifying Gaze does nothing. I think it caught the spell shield. Gamsu's taken down as Police takes him off from the back line and Spirit forced to run away. Oh, such a... Stop them at all. That's going to be a teleport. This is getting rough. It's going to get the teleport. Uh, petrifying Gaze won't be enough to save Nuketech's life. Tidal Wave goes out. Gamsu's found a taunt. Kasing Sings the target. Glacial Fisher just on the route out. The battle is broken onto two lines. Shook's running north, but that's to enemy territory. He will go down. Another to Febbivin. Error in communication. Vitality, they look to solve their. For Vitality. There's a decent Ash Arrow onto Yellow's star. Vitality with a bit of a last ditch effort. Yellow's in trouble. Chrono Shift is used on the support, but it may not matter. Police will be going down. Taken out by Gamsu and. Those ought to attack Shook and Cabo. Uh, I could turn trying here. Trying to turn their attention to Spirit. Spirit goes down. Gamsu's refuge wasn't enough. Cabo manages to find Yellow Star. Where's Reckless in all this? Cabo jumps onto him. Boomerang Blade goes out. Reckless stays alive. Gets the movement speed from Feathervin. And Feathervin's the twin fang target. Oh, you has got a big shield, a lot of hit points, and that chrono shift was on the wrong man. You never re He hasn't cast it yet, so it's going to be a race. Going to be a little bit late. Spirit's coming from the side. Baron's load stolen away by Fnatic. Gift wrap by Vitality. Cabo Shot's looking for Reckless. Not going to have the damage. That's a triple kill. On for the Quadra. The bomb's going to deal the damage, but Reckless finds it. Pentakill not on the cards. It's being taken down, and Fnatic end their losing streak by destroying Vitality, securing three points, and trying to get that confidence back. Change down in the final seconds, but for Hellasang's side, he's going Freezer Burn. 
has to burn his flash to get away. Summoner heal, tempered fate onto hybrid, and Hillisang self cast. And he actually jukes with the portal, but now it's amazing coming around the side, looking for more hybrid and Peke very low, but Hillisang flashes burned all around. Veritas is going all in first blood, goes to amazing, but hybrid falls after, and Peke is going down as well. Veritas knows it's a one way trip, but a double kill for him. Owned a little bit. Has to pop up the Glacial Fissure, but in comes Amazing right behind, and Hillsang may be unbreakable, but for how long? They're trying to get his tanking. <gasps> no, Amazing! Under tower, a critical error, but they pick up Hillsang all the same. It is a one for one. In. Okay, there's just a Glacial Fissure. It will bop up Hybrid, but now Veritas and Hillsang are way too low. Curtain calls out. In comes the Tempered Fate, but moves around the side. Teleport. Will it finish channeling? Double teleport. Hybrid now on the run. He's gonna die, and Move takes him out, but everyone's evaporating as Power picks up Hillsang. Move. Flipping away from the rest of the damage as power and so as try for the chase. He Looking at exactly how this is going to pan out though as uh, move gets I don't caught. think you can talk too long about it because move, he knows he's got nowhere to go. Given over to power of evil. They stun up exile. A golden prize on the horizon. Chasing for more. In goes power right past the chaos door. But he's stunned now within the gravity field. Exile picks up the answer and amazing is taken out by Veritas. Origin bite off way more than they can chew and they pay the price. Flash for hybrid but he goes down. Down to Hilly. Oh, it, uh, it's not over yet. Curtain Call comes into a fight. Oh boy, in goes the rest of Unicorns. They find themselves onto Amazing. Oh, sorry for the second, you guys couldn't see it all. And so as an Amazing, they melt. Unicorns in the chaos thrive and they move their way back onto Baron, but Power is not finished with them yet. Or are they not finished with him? A big squad jumping all over him. Move is defended in the back of the Baron pit. Exile a little bit low as well, but they take down the Baron. They um, amazing and hybrid. Couldn't call cool. use on Veritas. Oh, they managed to land an arrow onto Peke and he can't come in to defend. Soaz is down. Veritas, unstoppable Whoa. kill. Exile with the burst. Unicorns are running wild on top of this Origin squad right now. Big Nar for Chachi, nails Peke, solos him out, and is able to clean up amazing on the back of it all. Unicorn, another big victory. Game number one here. Pyra, the, uh, the Varus is actually not too bad here. Because we said the same thing about their ah, comp last game. Team in particular, play that oh, one well, exile. but in comes Soaz, Exile. He's got no summoners, he's got nowhere to go, but neither does Soaz Ooh. as Move comes around the side. That is the first blood. It's answered immediately. A mid laner for jungler, mid laner for top, I should say, goes Who down. Who comes in from the side? Yeah, he's got the tunnel, and that's going to punish Origin right here. Veritas taking out power. Barrel? No, Unbreakable surely not. I mean, Double they've got a chance. Hybrid's real low. Dead. Oh, no! And now the fight is definitely on, and the Rift Herald is forgotten as the spear lands onto Exile. Amazing, looking for a hunt, but he'll turn his attention to Hillisang instead. And Hilly this has is just his bizarre. Still. On the hunt, Hilly, he's going to have to flash. Piercing arrow dodged. What a weird fight. That is Damage, Summoner heals out. Exile might be caught here with Move. He gets blown up, actually, as Soaz gets the kill credit, and they turn their attention towards the Rek side. Stunned up, Under Tower, teleports flying. Is it going to be enough? Move is down, and they're tanking on this one. In comes Chachi to try and push him back, but it's a little bit too late. The teleport. Hang on, Chachi's Megana. Yeah, he does. He goes in, flashes. They get hybrid and power of evil knocked in, and Chachi is able to finish the job himself. Hillisang tanks all the damage from Peke. The Boulder is dodged by Amazing, but he's got no more mana left. And Veritas is hunting him down. The hop over the wall Ooh. keeps him alive. It ends up being a one-for-one one trade, but we're not done yet. Peke okay. still firing. In comes Chachi, flashes Veritas on the back of it. The boomerang blade. What I'm to do is to get into a fight. Fish is on. Oh. They caught Hillisang. Do they have enough damage to finish him? It looks like the answer is yes. As soon as the channel finishes, Ash Arrow comes out. But the he's rest alive. of the team's here. He stays alive. Amazing, taking a huge chunk of damage. And so as isolated from the team, the fight on two fronts here. Can they finish Soaz? Can they finish Hybrid? The answer to one is yes, as Chachi gets a boomerang right on the back of his head. That is a one tech here, not far behind. A big guard against the wall as the Glacial Fissure comes through. A 2v3, and Chachi will just barely get out alive. Move gives his life for it. I talked about it, we talked about it over. This is a lot better for them now. They have everybody. Hit against Peke. Peke, he's got no summoners. Remember, he's gone. Move just like and it has punished them because unicorns have just punished Origin time and time again. So there as we go. Said, can't do anything. Same thing again. Chachi's free on. It the won't last very long. A couple more autos. No, they are able to defend. Amazing around the side, trying a last ditch effort to force them back. These unicorns are very low. A crucial fight. Could it come in here? Power taking a little damage, flashing away. 
As Summoner heal, they keep taking more poke, and Amazing keeps trying to corral them around the side, but Move His decides Soaz. to do just that. Soaz comes in, Amazing will fall as well, and it's a one for one, as Unicorn still keep narrowly trying to get away. Oh man. Easy peasy, and Amazing goes oh, in at the last so second. Run. He does get the steal off, and he's gonna pay for it with his life, but hashtag worth it. He's gonna go down. Unicorns, they're gonna move towards the Baron, despite low health bars, they oh, find hybrid. hybrid. Amazing, nails Chachi, not enough damage here. Super in goes! Baron. Exile finishes the job. They've got 59 seconds to work with. Two man on the Baron. Unicorns have so many options. Oh, Chachi's just tanking the tower. The arrow comes out. He hops. In goes the fish, but it's just not enough damage. They're going to finish off the Whoa. tower. They cut through it so fast and forget the kills. You can take the Nexus. Unicorns oh, above. The no, on. they just no, they barely tried to finish the job. Hard fought victory. And the Whoa. Unicorns finish the sweep. They're, they're committing to this lane swap early because they will get dumpstered in terms of pressure. Also, lane swap like two plays ahead of you. Oh, hopping back in. Wonder, that's a little greedy. Starting to get aggressive. There's that low health bar. Spear lands. Great connect coming in. No ultimate. That's going to be first blood. Right now, anyway. <laughs> Send kicks. In and out. And Send Cucks. Is he going to drop? Not quite enough in the Hemo play. Betsy oh, wants gosh. more. Flash in. Flash. Willie drops. Send Cucks moving forward. Action continues to happen. Mickey getting cheeky. Wants a little bit more. Send Cucks. One more rip walk. Will he be able to grab another? Is it the two for the price of one? Hops forward. Gets it. Double kill for the mid laner. You wanted him to get a. He's dialing in, but. Turns out it's just a Paran call. Oh no. It's not what you want. Oh no. May have been just a prank though overall. Wonder dumping forward, trying oh. to get something else in the end. Is he gonna be able to kill back? Yes! My god! 2v1 and he still gets a kill. Looks like it maybe started. Parang knocked up. Great bubble moving forward. Who's gonna be able to get it? Wonder's in the team. He's knocked up. He's knocked out of the fight. Airwax has the damage. Snap back from Parang. He's looking for more, but he's straight too far forward. Isn't gonna go down, or is he? Ignite ticking. Flash from Kabi forward. Steal back. Trying to get something back. Kabi in trouble. Is he alive? Why won't he oh, die? Go away! Airwax commits to get the kill back, but that was a clean! Not gonna find purchase, but it will speed up Wonder, and it may send Rock Hat to their graves. Kabi moves forward, Senkux on the front lines, burns through the Braum. Next up is the Echo Prank. Parallel Convergence not gonna come out. Snap back, moves in, some fancy footwork, but Wonder doesn't care. Senkux wants one more to round it out, and Splice rip through. Splice looked to close out this game. The Nexus is left open. The Nexus is set to fall. A little bit of fancy footwork and a few more blows secure the first win for Splice. Like, we, technically they can wait until 20 seconds, but it makes more sense that Spellcasters are in the top lane. Also, ability to tank creeps here. And oh, race. Oh, what? race! What? Best. Get him, Airwax. Oh, Airwax wants some vengeance. He flashes forward. Wonder, there's no way you're making it out of this one. You're just choosing between who's gonna kill you. And now it's Airwax. Like, it's, it seems like... In. Wonder locked up. Knocks Airwax back. That's a great play, but it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to get anything back. Another kill drops. Does Splice take their second yeah. tank? Did it even help? Because it was actually the Kindred tanking the tower, so he helped uh, what? Airwax escape. What? And then Airwax walked back in, because uh, there was probably people coming, so Airwax wanted to die without giving an extra assist. That's likely what happened. They, okay. knew, they knew his hero was coming, so he was getting cornered. And now... Can Raze afford to block the fourth shot? Ooh, move in! Nice play on the side from Trashy. Good flank. Raze gonna get knocked up as well, but Trashy trying to make it out. In comes Talia, trying to make more happen. Threaded Volley not going to find home, and Wonder is in trouble. Parang moves forward, flash over the wall to make it to safety. The worked ground not there. Talia moving out, but suddenly Splice safe to send Cucks with some fancy footwork. Curtain call goes down, but where's he gonna fire? Looking for Airwax, hits one. Is the last one gonna be in range? Doesn't look like it. Wonder drops. There's, I mean, moving forward. Oh, looking to make it out. Mickey potentially in trouble. TP coming in. Down goes the Lamb's respite in the end. Wonder is here. What will he be able to get out of this? Unraveled Earth goes in. Parang gets knocked back. This is. What are these fights? People are fighting for no me. reason, just brawling. There is. All the essence of strategy is being lost here. Complete chaos. It doesn't make any sense. It's brawly. It's aggressive. Crashy potentially getting caught out. Airwax. Ooh, oh! Denied on the hop. Surprise. In goes the snare. Parang, is he in trouble? Senkux moves forward. He wants a piece of the action. Oh, Fight. Betsy's out of mana. Is he able to make it out? Flash. Senkux gets locked up. Not going to surf along it, but maybe they're looking to fight them in the pinch. This is a bad place to be. Unraveled Earth. Talia jumping forward. Kindred drops. The Baron goes in favor of Splice. And they are ripping through Rock Hat. Insanity. Yeah, we talked. It's a little bit too massive. 
dealt with. Wonderful. And here we go. Wall cut off. Nice. Trying to cut it off. Making sure Rock Hat can't get in. The ult goes down. Prang gonna use the wall though. Trying to make a play. Trying to make something happen. Trashy's gonna drop. Rock Hat, they're holding the tower, but they're losing members. Move in the one for one trade. Senkok suddenly in the back line. It's not gonna be enough. Steelback does too much damage. Shut down onto the mid laner. Airwax back at it again, looking for the flank. The flank kindred, the illustrious champion here. Oh, maybe it'll be in. something. Wonder in trouble. They're moving forward. The disengage doesn't come out. Unravel Earth hitting no one. Trying to get something else. Down goes the ultimate, but shutdown coming in from Kabe. Sniper on the back half. Parang, is he next? That's so much damage. Senkux, the back line alive and well. One member may go down, Ooh. but down goes Raze. The double kill. Azir's life traded back. Suddenly the fight is wide open. Steelback moving forward. Betsy still alive. Rock Hat are taking control and moving forward here. What Not going to be enough. Wonder throwing down some damage. Airwax in trouble. Is he going to have to use the Lamb's Respite? No. Wonder takes him down and is continuing to move forward. Curtain call. Hitting Betsy, he could get burned down here. Wonder moving forward, maybe looking for more. Steelback flash to safety. Parang moves in, wants to re-engage, but just knocks Trashy back into his team. Snare not going to connect, but Splice, they've taken the third inhibitor. Suddenly Steelback in trouble. He's gonna get it. Talia with the double kill. Moving in. Kabi wants some of the glory for himself, but Splice, they may not grab a few more kills, but they're gonna have to be happy with the 2-0 here as they move in to close out against Rock Hat. You can hear the fans cheering. Splice with one final confident push, one last confident. All right. Whew. This yeah. is gonna be a fun one. Okay. So what does new new? He doesn't want to follow that up. Speaking of perks and dangers, I don't think Knight's sticking around, or rather. Uh, Mini J split. Oh, Knight is very low, but perks. He's the one who gets caught behind three giants, and Knight takes him down. Really damage these giants, and they're chasing forward. There goes the Nunu, but Max Lore explodes him into a thousand tiny pieces. Mithy will finally answer on the other side of it, but flashes are burned right around both sides. Knight isolated from the team, and now the rest of Giants are running scared away, trying to get away with the prize. Hustlin's gonna fall, counter strikes, Mini J not gonna go any further. Very chaotic fight on many fronts. Flash burned by Max Lore, trying to get out of danger, and now in comes Expect, throwing down the big, big, big amount of damage. Everyone on G2, though, they're starting to melt, and Smitty J on this Jax. Well, maybe you can't team fight with the Jax when it's a straight there up. There we go. Max Lord very low is going to have to pop up. Stolen. He doesn't get the steal away. And now the fight's going on. They got what they wanted, but can they get out? Max Lord gives his life, and so does Knight. But three members still sitting on the Baron. And he's denied. Spits him right back out, but now he might be the target. Grey Helm is not going to be used. Smitty J just bops him on the head, and now the Giants realize they have the moment. Curtain Call comes out, Trick walks out of it. Sunstar takes out Sven. A double kill for Smitty, and these Giants are just But will this up. be enough? Absolute zero. This is Peel Giants off the Baron right now. They're very low. Tri Trick is leading the charge. They realize they can maybe push forward, but look at the damage the Hemoplank that Knight was bringing. Trick is stopped up. They're going to turn for him, and Smitty finishes the job. Trick has not looked particularly good. Inhibitor Baron being fired down. Giants in the line. Trick trying to hold it. Can't get the smite away. And it will go to Maxlor. It will go to Giants. And Knight picks up Trick in the back of it all. So that is one man advantage. Goes down fast. And they're looking for Mithy as well. In comes the curtain call. And it's going to be curtains, it looks like, for G2 Esports. Everything's starting to collapse right now. Perks cannot hold. A triple kill comes in for Knight. And it's only Nexus turrets remaining. That's not going to be very long. 42 minutes into this game and Giants Gaming will upset G2 Esports, starting to topple them down the table. A song, if you will, Stress. I, it was, it was, it was there, and I knew it was coming, and I... And if you Q, ooh, go! It's gonna do double connect. Okay, they've got damage. Trick, that's first blood over to Sunstar. Flash out, Ignite is on, they pull Hustlin into the tower. This actually might be a bad idea as Hustlin, Summoner heal, used by Sunstar. In comes Expect out of nowhere! And he's gonna finish the job. If only the minions can't stop him. No, they get themselves two quick ones. One for Sven, one for Expect. Giants way too far forward. Big setup over commit from Giants here. Knight's gonna try and help Max Lore out, but Max Lore is Really stuck here. Trick comes in as well. This is going to be a Curtain kill. Call. Who oh, gets it? Dodge one. Can't dodge a second. Sven picks up a second of the game. Oh, it was. Run Ignite in the top lane. Well, no. Have fun in solo queue. And uh, yeah. Smitty's might be having fun back at Fountain, although he is trading good with he his gets a kill. He gets the kill answer. Trick's the only one chasing. Oh, Mithy's here. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, Smitty, though. Oh. Dangerous. Okay. Got him. And there's Sven. Third kill of the game. He's starting to get rolled. Oh, Smitty, well, this is going to be Stolen again. down. Stolen. By Trick, but Expect is going to pay the price for it. I don't even know who got it. 
Uh, Trick oh, managed to smite oh, it, oh, but Sunstar. he's dead. Goodbye. Chemo Plague was always going to pop. Knight, he's going to flash away. Curtain calls on, but they turn the attention back towards Trick. Do they have enough damage to finish him as the teleport channel completes? Knight is real Ooh. low, but he's sticking around here, and they deny a little bit. In goes the Equalizer. Not enough to finish him off, but Knight gets egged by Expect anyways. Mythy going down around the side. Maxlor flashing the wall, and Expect looking to chase him down. All said and done, so far it's two for two. Maxlor, can he escape from the Electro Harpoons to make it three? Sonstar trying to duel, but Perks, he's surely going to win this one. And down he goes. Exploded. Massive trade in favor of G2. It's not done yet. Can they buy the Anivia wall? Here comes Trick. Will he get the smile no. away? He does. He's getting Oh, jeez. He might die for this one, though. They turned onto him. Sonstar getting the kill. Mithy with the box on the rest of the teams around. Double kill going over to Sonstar. Expect was not in the picture. So Giants get oh, turn back towards him. They do catch Sven on the back half of it. Knight Good though, old. he's egged and Hustlin's gonna have to flash away. Sonstar finishing his channel as Perks picks up a killing spree off the back of it. Trick oh so low, but Sonstar is not in range to finish the job. Summoner heal trying to finish onto Perks. He's, he's got one. He's got him. Sonstar with the kill. Sunstar with the kill. Now they've got to be careful. Rumble apparently returns back to Earth off the uh, the explosion of uh, it's the best. It's the <laughs> It's a game of uh, 0.2 of a second sometimes. Perks, though, he's going to get caught up for just a second. Sonstar Ooh. Trick, he's not going to turn his attention that way. Up. Big equalizer right on the back. Trick, they're looking for Max Lore here. Giants trying to kite back. Perks is going to get shut down by Knight. Stopped up, and now it's G2 that are on the retreat path. They did pick up his Hustle, and they did pick up Smitty, and now they've turned it back around again. A triple Ooh. kill now as they find Knight, and Sonstar limping away the Quadra kill. Are you kidding? Calls out, was it all a feint? In comes the Lantern. Perks can't step on it, but they don't even need he to right now. Again. He got out. Finally, Hustlin is low. Sven is low. Trick, but Sven picks up a legendary kill before he's finally Finally shut down, courtesy of Smitty J. Trick now leading the charge on the second win. They pull in Smitty. They've got the damage to keep on going. They egg Knight, and now Smitty's going to fall. This is G2 cleaning house. Massive extended fight for G2, and they are going to be able to put down here. No chance for Giants to get Perks in and try to contest there. the perks. He is going to be caught. Exhausted, stopped up by the chains. Do they have the damage? No. This time he gets out in the lantern, and Giants, they realize they can't keep this fight going. Sonstar, a massive chunk out of his health bar. Full this retreat mode. In comes Trick. Curtains now for Giants. Ooh. Gaming, Sven with the spree. They keep on firing the barrel for disengage, but it looks like it might just prolong the inevitable. Night stop. Max Lore with the pop. Not enough damage. Sven is on a rampage, and G2 Esports will clean house. They don't lose anybody in the fight, the clean ace is going to win the game. G2 Esports will finally come back into this one, a one and one on the day in a dominating game two performance. My in his inter interview with you, he was saying we're not aggressive enough, we don't always know how to execute. Right. So what wins the day for H2K is they push in to shut down Fox. It's a cross map play and it takes a long time to run him down, but Fox is gonna fall for first blood. Oh, oh Yankos goes over the wall, Gilius potentially caught out, in goes Lissandra, flash into Fox, they wanna shut down the all-star for the team, and Gilius left alone. H2K taking control, the chaos oh, score. spotted out, Steve's TP is available, now they're looking to disengage. Can they pop Gilius before the fight actually begins? He's locked down, he's knocked out, H2K with the man advantage. Are they going to push for more? Much better shot calling though, see if I not only do they get a TP from Steve, they get another kill. Shago is back in base. It's gonna be a it's fight though. Play. No tidal wave available. Maybe they're looking to go in. Lockdown coming in. Two members snared. Odawamne gets popped into Ninkos. Yankos could be next on the menu. There's simply oh, too much it. damage. Shalka tear through H2K. The Baron now in their sights. 80 carry and support. The only members left standing on the side of H2K. Yeah, we've hit a point now where the Shalka members have enough items to also take these team fights. Doppel item on the Caitlyn. Two items on the rise. That's gonna be a Baron. H2K with the triple Mountain Drake setup. Thought they'd like to rush down that other side of the wall just outside of your screen. He's not here. Oh, what can he get? They're moving forward. Tidal away for the disengage. No disaster for H2K. They've overstayed. Ryu flashes forward. The Chaos Storm, not enough damage. But Fox drops on the back to predict the back out from H2K. And suddenly they're in trouble. Rise is TPing in. Rollins, no! The miss click! It comes.
cost them so much. Suddenly, H2K own the team fight. Fox, will he fall down? Yankos falls on the backside. Fox looking for the outplay. What can he do? He's going to drop in the end. Freeze is still alive. The 80 carry is down. Odo's looking to make his way out of the fight. H2K, can they pull ahead? Gravity field drops. Steve set to fall next. And one misclick from the 80 oh carry. My. They just need the Kinnis. They can't pull off. They need to get it. Baron goes down for H2K. Vander in trouble on the backside. He is going to drop. Oh, look, Morales. Fox is locked up. But he does so much damage. A shutdown for Rollis. He's uncontested. He cleans up. H2K, they get the Baron. But absolutely out execute. Exhaust coming down. Can they buy the time? Can they turn this around? Two members hitting the base. Rollis hitting the base. Oh, Will he die. drop? He's going to drop. Can they turn it around? They're so it's low. Trying. They have the CC. Can they turn it's it back? Triple kill. kill. Yes, he's alive. Oh, my God. It's happening. Another one. Quadra kill. And EU just keeps delivering. Or down the straight teleport to the bottom lane. Massive wave. The rest of H2K running down the mid lane. Look at this army here in the bottom side. 40 seconds on some of the Shalgar members, 35 on a few. Will they turn it around? Will they end the game? Can H2K turn it They're back? Rushing. Odo, he has the power of three Mountain Drakes. His team moving in to rally behind him. The timers are counting down. Shalka, is this it? Was it the one disastrous decision that cost them this first game? We're gonna have to find out. I don't think they have the time. Sprottle up and eight, counting down six. Five, they got the four, Baron buff as well. And he has the tidal wave. He can buy time. Rough box will be up as well. What can they do? No, there's too many members strong. They don't have the CC. It, They're setting their sights. H2K oh, with yeah. the turnaround for game one. Shalka, so many team fights he got to run uncontested, but Fox, the man who has put up such oh, gank, goes, gank, it's good. Make his presence known in the mid lane. Waiting for the cocoon, just hitting him with the red buff. Waits for the flash. Good patience, uses it. Beautiful execution. H2K. Yankos yeah, definitely has the lead. Stun goes down on a Stevie solo. He hits level three. Beautiful stun. The follow up. H2K are going off. Vander tanks the tower. Patience and execution. They failed so many tower dives last week, but now they are. Bart, if you bottle to the tower, you can go for a dive. Like that? Like this. Yeah. Sprottle That's potentially in trouble moving forward. CC comes down and Karma gets dropped. I like you, Vander. Well, flash over the wall from Vander. Just going to stun up the Krugs. Failure and execution here, but will they still be able to grab it? Gilead's going to get burned down so quickly. Fox trying to get something back. Yanko's potentially in trouble. Rawl is on the backside, but the front line is too much. Odo standing in the way is going to hop and skip over his heads of his teammates to try to make it to safety. Freeze with the heal. Fox with the Zanya. Trap. Can they get it? Stun comes down. Chain CC. Vander picks up the kill on Fox. H2K. Own the team fight and Shalka have to walk away empty handed. No one has dropped on the side of H2K and Steve now on the forefront. Gravity Field comes in. He has to flash out Ryu. No fear from the mid laner of H2K. The solo lanes running forward. In comes the Caitlyn Alti. A long slow. slowly dropping lower. Shalka aren't in position to contest. Odo knocks Steve into the wall and the fight has begun. H2K moving forward. They're going to look to pick up the top laner. Can they make it one more? No tempered fate available. Can Shalka put down tempered fate? Going to go wide. Odo starting to burn things down. What else can they do? Do Shalka have any hope? Do they have any fighting left in the comp? It does not look like it. Baron buff powering them up. A massive gold lead, 15k for H2K. They may have hesitated in game one, but there is no hope left for Shalka in game two.